Hey, today we're going to use Packet Tracer to draw a network rack diagram. Packet Tracer, of course, is the free tool from Cisco that helps you learn how networking works. A rack is the device in your telecom closet, your server room, that holds most of your devices. Uh, they're four or eight feet tall, they're always 19 inches wide, and any device we've talked about in class can be found in a rack mountable format. To draw one of these, the fastest way I've come across this is in my new diagram, Packet Tracer. Click on Physical. It then takes me to a city layout, which is fun, but not what I want to do right now. I come over to the home button that takes me to my closet. Then from there, my icons change and I see that I have create new rack. I click on it and I have a rack. Down on the bottom, all the components that you've dropped onto other packet tracer documents are now available in a rack model format. So if I want to switch, I drag a switch up onto here and it automatically gives me a rack mounted switch with a distribution device. A power if I want more than one, I can put them up there. If you want to move something, feel free to click and drag it. And that's it for Packet Tracer drawing a network diagram or, or a um, rack diagram. If you don't like Packet Tracer, you can use other tools. Microsoft Visio, which is available to you on your PTC desktops, is a great option. It draws beautiful diagrams. Um, Draw.io online is a tool I've used in the past. And Lucidchart. Lucidchart has a paywall to get past, but they're all good tools. Regardless, find a way to draw your network diagrams and your rack diagrams and submit them. You guys have a good night.